Good morning everybody, welcome to a new two day vlog. This is going to be my London Fashion Week September 2017 vlog. It is Sunday today, I'm actually only doing two Fashion Week days this season, today and tomorrow, so I thought I'd bring you along with me. I've had a very nice start to the day. We drove up home from my mum's house this morning because Charlie and I just got back from Kefalonia yesterday, so we stayed at my mum's house last night. And um, first thing this morning, I went to meet my best friend Vicky. We went to London Grace, which is my fave nail salon here in Clapham, and we both got manis, so very, very happy with my new nails. I went for the shade um, called Coco, which is like a brownie pink. I thought it'd be really nice for autumn. Their manicures just last me so long. The last one I had on for like four weeks and I only had to get it replaced because of regrowth. So highly recommend that. It's a really nice morning. We had a coffee afterwards and then did a little bit of shopping around Clapham High Street. So now it's around half one and I'm going to head into London. I'm heading to Chinatown first to go to the apartment, which is kind of like a chill out, relax and re-energize area space for bloggers and they should have a hair station there so hopefully I'm going to get some of the guys there to do my hair because I washed it this morning and it's just super silky just chucked it in a bun to get myself there. Today is the Topshop fashion show which I'm really excited about. I'm only doing three shows this season. I've just cherry picked the ones that I really really want to do and of course Topshop is the one that I'm so excited about. I'm wearing my Topshop dress and that is this afternoon so I'm very much looking forward to taking you along to that. So I guess without further ado Let's get going. That was a whirlwind afternoon, so much fun at the Topshop show, although it was roasting in there. My skin feels disgusting. I don't know if it's because I've been away and now suddenly the pollution is going back into my skin, but I just feel like I want to exfoliate um, and put on face mask, which is pretty much what I'm going to do. But yeah, Topshop was fabulous. I was invited by L'Oreal and the stylist Duffy did their hair. It looked beautiful. It's just like very cool girl waves, which I definitely need to recreate. So thank you L'Oreal for inviting me. I was sat opposite Philip Green and Kate Moss. So it was just really, really cool experience. And yeah, fab start to London Fashion Week. I'm gonna head upstairs now, put a face mask on, and I think I'm gonna unbox a little bit of blogger mail, so I will show you what is in my blogger mail, but first of all, I need to put on some comfy clothes and chill out. Okay, so I'm gonna start by putting this one on. It's the Fresh Black Tea Instant Perfecting Mask, because I've got a few blemishes on my chin, which hopefully this will zap and get rid of. And then I'm gonna double whammy it. I'm gonna put this one on, which is the Vitamin Nectar. Ooh. It's not focusing, there we go. This one is a vibrancy boosting mask, which I feel like these two work really well together because you can apply this one just to cleanse and then this one will bring back the glow. So let's start with this bad boy. Right, so I'm gonna leave this on my skin and for the first 10 minutes, while that works its magic, I'm gonna attack my blogger mail. I'm too embarrassed to even show you what the floor of this room looks like. So let me prop you up somewhere and I'll show you a few of the bits and bobs that have arrived over the past week. Obviously while we've been away, it's kind of built up a little bit. So let me show you what is in a week's worth of blogger mail. So I ended up faffing about with my hair and I'm already on to face mask number two which is the vitamin one, and it looks like I have some kind of weird skin condition, so forgive me. Um, also, funny story, as I was taking off my first face mask, I realized that I was using the flannel that we used to use to wipe the carpets clean after Dickens had done a poo on the carpet, so luckily it's been washed, but um, yeah, 
not a good start to the face mask session, but never mind. Hopefully this will draw out any poo toxins. Anyway, so my first vlog mail is a really, really cool one. I just opened it up eagerly already from Bobbi Brown. It's their new lipstick launch and they have sent so many. This is absolutely Kurt Razy. Um, there's two drawers in here. You've got the reds, some purples, and I've pulled out this one, which is called um, Bear. This is their new crushed lip color, which apparently is very hydrating. It's got vitamins and beeswax in there. So really good for this time of year. I feel like quite a lot of brands are bringing out really hydrating lip products at the moment, which I am very okay with because I'm all about comfort on the lips but I am also a really big fan of matte lips so it's nice to kind of switch it up with something like this so very much looking forward to trying these out super generous from Bobbi Brown look at all these lipsticks I don't know what I'm going to do with them all but figure out which shades are the best actually this one looks beautiful as well look at that gorgeous kind of like Barbie pink colour very excited to try those I feel like you can be a little bit more adventurous with um, balmy colours as well because it's not such a, a bold colour on the lips next blogger mail again I've just opened two already because I didn't know I was going to film this earlier on today is a beautiful silk pajama set from a new brand called Lays um this is their blank or blanc white short set and I'm just such a huge fan of silk pajamas I feel like you feel so amazing when you go to sleep in such beautiful material and then it's got a navy stitching or a navy hem around the collar a little bit of detail on the chest here um, and I think this retails for under £50 a set I believe I will leave a link down below so you can have a look for yourself but very affordable for how high quality it feels and then this little pair of shorts as well so thank you very much to Lay's oh and they also very very kindly popped in a matching eye mask so I'm gonna look so cute in my matching PJs then I'm dying to see what's in this I have a huge blog mail gift from River Island. You guys know how much I love River Island. I buy way too much stuff from there. Um, but it looks like this is actually a present from them. So, dear Josie, we wanted to send you a little something in the spirit of London Fashion Week. Good timing. See you on the other side. Love from River Island PR. All right, oh my goodness. Wow. This is not something I would usually go for, so it's pretty awesome that they've sent it because I would not have even tried this on in a store. It's like a Czech blazer, very Cher Horowitz, clueless style. And, ooh, oh my gosh, I think this is a pair of like paper bag waist culottes or trousers. Very, very smart. I don't know if I can pull this off. Maybe the trousers with like a silk shirt or something, a silk blouse could look pretty cool. I'll give those a try tomorrow morning. I'm only doing one more day of fashion week, so... This could also work for a workwear lookbook that I'm planning for you guys. So yes, thank you so much River Island, forever pushing my style boundaries. And now I'm gonna use this box as my rubbish bin. So I'm dying to see what's in this one because it's from Kiki K and I am obsessed with their stationery. Don't think I've ever got a gift from them before. So this is pretty awesome. Looks like a notebook. Hi Josie, we hope you like your new personalised 2018 diary. Oh my god, it's getting to that time of year. I'm so excited to see this. Oh, oh that is so cute. Oh my gosh. So this is a 2018 diary and they have put my initials JF down in the bottom there. That is so gorgeous. Very sleek as well in the grey. I would normally, again, go for pink, but because I wear so much pink, maybe it's a little bit more chic that I go for something a bit more neutral. Just as you as expect, lots and lots of space for your appointments. I've actually had Kiki K diaries in the past and love them, so thank you very much for sending that. That will be very, very well used in the next year and months. What is in here? Bondi Sands. I actually had so many compliments on my tan today. I think people thought that I'd been sunbathing while in Kefalonia, but actually I just had a bottle of Bondi Sands Ultra Dark with me, so that's why I'm tanned. Um, so I think I might have a top up here. Ooh! This is liquid gold. I have not tried this one before, but actually I'm gonna give this a go tonight. I've heard so many good things about this um, and I'm actually having to cancel the spray tan that I was meant to have on Wednesday. And also this self tan eraser, which I did a huge long Instagram story about with my first impressions and it's amazing. And it really, really works. So that's epic. Thank you very much to Bondi Sands. Dear Josie, please find enclosed your adore gift. Enjoy wearing. 
Ooh, so Adore is a brand that is like a sister brand to Swarovski. I worked with them a little bit last Christmas and I love their designs. So I was very excited to see an email from them asking me to pick a favorite piece. And I chose, oh my gosh, it's even more beautiful in real life. Ooh, this beautiful bangle. It's, um, not sure if my camera will focus on it, but there we go. So it's like, a layer of clear Swarovski crystals and then a layer of pinky ones in this rose gold band. It looks so beautiful. I look like an absolute mess <laughs> with this face mask on. And actually this is Swarovski too. This is, um, well, this is a door, but with Swarovski crystals. Uh, this is Swarovski Remix and it's part of their range that has little magnets. So you could technically make a whole long necklace of these if you wanted to really mix and match. The clasp is just like a magnet, but yeah, that's from actual Swarovski and then this is a new one from Adore which I adore so thank you very much to those guys I'm feeling like the luckiest girl in the world like I always do when I open blogger mail I think that a lot of people look at this and maybe it makes them think oh blogging is so easy and you get sent all this stuff but it's really not like that like I blogged for two years before a brand even reached out to me and even when I got sent my first ever thing, I could not believe it. I never, ever, ever will take this for granted. So yeah, it's definitely a perk of the job and something that I feel forever grateful for. Ooh, what is this? Clinique, post-summer thirsty skin, discover 24 seven hydration with moisture surge. I'm such a huge fan of, <gasps> such a huge fan of moisture surge. Something else that is personalized, Josie's supercharged notes. I love this. Anything personalized, I just go crazy for. And the color of this notebook. So beautiful. That's gorgeous. Very much gonna put that to good use. And then, I wish I'd opened this earlier. I could have put this on now. Moisture Surge Overnight Mask. I will be using that tonight. I think they've put in some cute little pink Clinique pencils. I'm such a stationary nerd. This gets me really excited. And then we've got um, Moisture Surge, Moisture Surge Extended Thirst Relief. This is so good for long haul flights. If you're going on any long journeys on an airplane, you don't want your skin to get dehydrated and dried out. Just put some of this in a little Muji pot. It is honestly a savior. And then this is the Moisture Surge Serum. Um, hydrating Supercharged Concentrate. This is the perfect time of year to really get a hydrating serum because obviously autumn we have heating and then you go outside in the cold, really sucks all the moisture out of your skin. So if you want to keep it glowing, then this will be a great thing to add to your beauty routine. So I'm definitely gonna put that somewhere safe so I can start hydrating my skin on a daily basis. Back again, I didn't realize this is actually an oil-free gel. You can use it as like a daily moisturizer. Um, so really good if you just need hydration, but you don't want to have too much thick product on your face. And my skin feels amazing. So thank you so much Clinique for sending that one over. And in here we have Unique Boutique by Feel Unique. That is a tongue twister. What says, dear Josie, we're excited to share with you Phil Unique's new luxe section. Please find clothes, <gasps> 200 pounds to spend on that. Oh my God, that is so generous. Here's an exclusive gift just for you. Wow, so they've got Lancome, they've got Dior, YSL, Aromatherapy Associates, Dr. Hauschka. That is so exciting, I'm so spoilt. Oh my gosh, okay, need to keep that in a safe place. Looks like I'll be going shopping tonight. Let me know if you guys have any recommendations, any favorites as to what I should pick up with that. And we have this month's Birch Box, which is in collaboration with Oliver Bonus. Really beautiful little box. Let's have a look at what is inside. So we have got a little mini Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. That is going to be very, very handy for upcoming holidays. I always find these boxes so good for travel minis, and that is just an amazing one. Manuka Dar Beauty Fantasy Blush. That's a really beautiful shade. And then we've got... Icy Magic Instant Eye Contour Energizer from Polar, Dr. Pawpaw Original Multi-Purpose Balm, and this one is an Arrow Boost, I think this is one of their, yeah, colour enhancing lip balms, so this changes colour depending on the colour of your lips to find the most flattering shade. Got some little Oliver Bonus stickers, and some, ooh, and 15% off your next order at Oliver Bonus. A nice little voucher in there as well. Love it when two of my favourite brands get together. That's a really nice collaboration and 
such a cute little box. Okay, this looks like a pretty epic blog mail. Dermalogica Skin Health School. And it's come in this amazing backpack. It looks like it could be Cambridge Satchel Company, but I'm not sure that it actually has a brand. And I have just suddenly got cramp in my toes. This reminds me of a proper old school, like school satchel. That's absolutely adorable. Dermalogica Skin Health School Notebook. Okay, so Dermalogica are challenging us to get better skin in 30 days. So this kit, you can use it for 30 days, and it's their 30 days to fit skin journey, which we share with our fellow classmates using hashtag 30 days to fit skin. That sounds good, and my skin is in need of that at the moment. I have got those like annoying under skin spots, although my skin does feel very cleansed and smooth after that uh, face mask session. But that sounds like a really good idea. I'm excited to give that a go. I haven't used Dermalogica in a long time either. <sighs> okay, I just had to change the battery on the vlogging camera, and I've undone a load more bits and bobs, so I'm just gonna whiz through a few more pieces. First of all, this lovely blogger mail from Victor and Rolf, which Probably my favourite fragrance of all time is Flower Bomb. They have so kindly sent the perfumed body lotion. And for me, applying a body lotion with a fragrance is such a nice way of making it last a lot longer um, and stronger. This is the shower gel. And then also these two little boxes with their travel mini. So that's going to be very handy for my handbag. Might pop that in my Fashion Week handbag for tomorrow. So thank you very much to Victor and Rolf. And then Elemis have absolutely spoiled me rotten. I mentioned in my previous autumn beauty routine that I loved their dynamic resurfacing moisturizer and she sent me the rest of the range, which is so generous. This is the dynamic resurfacing night cream with tri-enzymes, white truffle, renews, smooths and nourishes. So I'll be giving it that a go. And there's a dynamic resurfacing serum, facial wash, and gel mask. I did not know there's a whole range, but apparently so, and cannot wait to try those. Then I got a really lovely blogger mail from a brand called Catherine Daniels, and this was probably one of the first brands I tried when I started testing out skincare on my blog, and I loved their products. This is their new Instant Effect Eye Mask, which promises a 70% reduction in wrinkles, 80% revitalized skin, and 80% plumped up skin. So that sounds amazing. Again, I'm gonna try these tonight. We have a new fragrance as well from Jean-Paul Gaultier. This is Scandal, and it comes in this amazing like faux suede, or maybe it's real suede, tin, which is probably gonna be a nightmare to get into. Oh, there we go. Oh my goodness, <laughs> looks like something out of the Moulin Rouge. So you've got this leg design coming out the lid. Beautiful pink colored fragrance. Let's have a sniff. It's kind of like a sweet floral fragrance, I would say but then as you wear it a little bit longer, it gets a little bit more musky. Very, very nice. I think that's definitely gonna be a nice one for autumn. And this packaging, really, really cool. Big fan of that. And then the last piece I'm gonna show you guys um, is this one, and then I'm gonna go downstairs, finish unpacking, and just chill out a little bit because Charlie has just got home. Also, that scandal, now that it's sunk in, is so lovely. I feel like it was a little bit sweet to start with, but now, been wearing it for a few minutes it just smells absolutely gorgeous and typically i have another fragrance this one here is michael kors sexy ruby this is like a giant jewelry box really really cool got these little drawers oh my goodness wow that is seriously cool so down here i don't think i was meant to pull that out got a mini of the fragrance but i think that's actually a usb stick what is that is that a one of those what are they called? I don't know, but it's pretty. <gasps> oh my god, can you see that? It looks like something out of the Demon Headmaster. Like an illuminated, crazy, fragrance, light-up thing. That is very, very cool. So how do I actually get to the perfume? Oh my goodness. Looks like loads of different gems inside. That is pretty damn cool. So, Sexy Ruby. It looks like a giant ruby, the actual bottle. Ooh, that is totally different to the other one that I've sprayed on. A lot lighter. Oh wow, that is almost like tobacco-y. I feel like this is one that Charlie would really like as well. Oh, that is really cool. It's almost like a clean laundry mixed with tobacco smell. I don't know how to describe it, it's very, very cool. See my face illuminated by this. 
two lovely new fragrances, which I will wear and keep you updated on my thoughts on. But overall, a fabulous selection of blogger mail pieces. I'm gonna have a big tidy up session now because this room is a bomb site. I haven't even showed you the stuff that I've bought for shopping, but I'm gonna do a couple more haul videos soon. So yeah, I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Good morning, it is London Fashion Week, day two, and starting off bright and early on a Monday morning at the apartment, which I didn't get a chance to show you around properly yesterday. Kicking the day off with breakfast, a lovely yogurt with quinola in there, looks delicious. I'm gonna quickly show you around because there's no one else here yet, pretty much. Got this very chilled working area, and then this is the cafe. Beautiful, lots of lovely healthy snacks. Got lots of areas where we can do some work and like a chill out area. I've already eyed up this furniture, which I'm dying to get. One of these little stools for Dexter and Dickens so they can climb up on the sofa. My little boys. And then around here we have got a makeup zone collection. They're doing makeovers. And then we've got hair by this man here, Joel, who did my amazing plait yesterday. Thank you very much. Got loads of compliments. <laughs> Thank you, darling. And then around here, this is called the shop. So you can buy things here using social media currency like Instagram posts or tweets, such as watches, face masks, top shop clothing. So it's very, very cool blogger hangout during fashion week. How cool is this? And if it all gets too much, you can have a little nap in the bed too. <laughs> These are all the clothes. Little changing room area. While I've got a full length mirror, I'll just do a quick outfit of the day because I forgot to get one yesterday. This is a super chilled, cozy jumper dress. This is Hugo Boss. And then these are the shoes that you will have seen in my premium haul recently, uh, C by Chloe boots. And I put Vita Verata body blur on my legs because they're a little bit pale. And now they look like Barbie pins, but I'm okay with that. Earrings, these are from ASOS. Got my Astrid and Mew ring on, which has gone backwards. Oh, there we go. Manny still looking amazing. Okay, so I've hopped in a cab. We're whizzing down Oxford Street for the first show, which is at Selfridges. It's the Erdem show this morning. I'm going again as a guest of L'Oreal Professional, so we're keeping a close eye on the hairstyles, seeing what the wonderful hairstylists have created for the models at the show. Really looking forward to this one. It's always really beautiful floral, hopefully, for the spring summer collection. Um, and then I'm gonna head back to the apartment, picking up a lovely Aspinall bag ahead of the presentation, which is this afternoon. And then I have a little break, a little fashion week break. I'm going to get my hair covered, so I'll take you along to the salon as well. And then finally this evening, it's gonna be my last fashion week appointment, which is the Julia McDonald show. And that should be a really good one. It's always very glamorous, so it's gonna be a good day. Presentation in a cab full of bloggers. Say hello, guys. Hello. Hello. Oh my god, I'm a thumb mouth. Hello. Blonde girl over here has left her phone at the apartment, feeling like I don't know. Uh, I can't really like a fish out of water without oh. my telephone. <laughs> ding, <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> So we're heading to Aspinall where we're going to see their Spring Summer 18 collection um, and then going to get my hair done, although have a look, please may you show the back of my hair how cool it is. Look at this little DNA spiral thing going on. Isn't it cool? cool. So cool. Very cool. Thanks darling. So Fab Joel did my hair again and it's looking pretty cool so I shall see you in a few minutes.
heading towards Duke of York Square now to get my hair done. I don't think you'd be able to hear the clips that I filmed in Aspinall, so I'll just tell you all about it now. It was all themed around the Orient Express, so definitely a focus on their luggage pieces, which are absolutely beautiful. Hopefully you'll have spotted a few of them in the clips that I just showed you. Um, and then there was an afternoon tea element, very quintessentially British, which is why I love the brand. Um, the bag that I have that I took along with me is this beautiful one. Let me do it up properly to show you. There we go. Kind of like a saddle bag style with these beautiful three colours and gold lock. Absolutely love it. Very, very classic. So that went perfectly with my outfit. Got a few photos while we were there. So yeah, that was the astronaut presentation. Heading to the hairdressers now. I'm going to get my roots topped up. Although I'm kind of gutted to take out this amazing hairstyle because it looks so cool. <laughs> So the Julian McDonald show has just finished and what a way to end fashion week. It was the craziest like 90s party. I was definitely the least cool person there, definitely dancing along to all the songs while everyone else is acting cool. Um, but since I last spoke to you, I went and got my hair done. I had my roots highlighted at the wonderful Richard Ward and they put a physio treatment on my hair which hopefully will help with the condition because I've been getting a bit of breakage recently from all the holidays and all the sunshine so that was a really good way to just catch up this afternoon while they were doing my hair and then I went home for a very very quick change and then back into London for the Julian McDonald show which was amazing definitely the most fun show of the season although we had to queue for like half an hour and the show was running an hour late but it was amazing as you guys saw just so many beautiful designs lots of sparkles lots of sequins and now i'm heading back home again and that marks the end of this september's fashion week so i hope you enjoyed coming with me for the few shows that i did go to and um yeah that's all from me thank you for watching and i'll see you very soon in the next one